Good morning, it's about 9am and I'm just about to leave uh, the Hawes Youth Hostel. Hmm. I didn't think the beds were that comfortable, but uh, other than that all the facilities seem fine. Um, when I woke up this morning the skies were, the sun was shining, but now it's looking rather ominous. Anyway, I'm heading towards Cald. Towards Cald, yes. To Cald. I have a, a bunk barn booked there for the night, so that's my choice. I have to make it. <laughs> One way or another. Anyway, I'm just going to find, get back onto the Harriet Way. I've got to go up a hill, I think. And then branch off, and then I'm, I think I'm following the Pennine Way for most of um, today. But he, uh, they all ran away when I uh, opened the gate. There's some really tiny, tiny lambs. But I think I'm going in that direction, so we might see if I can catch one up close. Keep walking away. So I put on as much zoom as I can. Maybe some smaller ones somewhere. Must be down the back now. They're not letting me even get anywhere near. They've just a whole lot of bolted through the gap in the fence there. Which I might be going through because it looks like the actual <laughs> style is tiny. Yeah, not very good. Steps aren't very big. Uh, well, I suppose one of the gap in the wall. There we go, it's bolt any minute now. That's the closest I've got so far. Oh, the lambs are curious. Oop, mum's up there stamping her foot. Still going across some fields. Just uh, the woman I shared a room with last night was saying yesterday that she was hounded by midges. And I thought, hmm, I noticed a few bugs are out in that, but you know, it didn't really bother me. And then I remembered I treated my clothes with uh, that pyrethrum. So I wonder if that stopped the midges attacking me. Who knows? <laughs> I'm only treating my clothes for perithium because of the, I didn't want to, uh, for ticks really, but hey, good one. Right, we're heading up this hill and then we'll be joining the Pennine Way. Right, come from down there. Right, see some cars on the road. Here yeah, it's quite a steep climb, and now I'm on the Pennine Way, going that way. Still going up. <laughs> uh, at the moment, um, 315 meters. That last section was really steep, <laughs> and there's no breeze. It's very humid, so I'm certainly uh, glowing a lot. <laughs> Where I'm going, and we don't get in the hills, I'll never get there. I'm approximately at four, five, seven meters. A bit hard to do the OS locators, it's varying, it's not giving me a, a straight out reading. But I'll get off now because of the wind. This is Hern Top, about 497 meters. And onward we 
good to go. The wind's quite cold now. Anyway, that's where I come from. And I'm going over there, I think. I've got a, I'm at 550. I'm going to 700 and something. Oh, no, I'll tell you when I get there. Approximately 600 metres. I've got that hill to climb there. I don't know if that's the top or not. But uh, I'm feeling it. Oh, that great shadow fell. And it's got this uh, seating area divided into four. And because uh, the wind is coming, it's something chronic. And on this side, I'm not getting it, which is great. Because there's a few huge bits of rain in there as well. So hopefully, this is the highest. And now we're going down. And I'll be able to speed up a bit. Oh, my mileage has been quite slow. Not absolutely. Knackered though. That's 716 metres. So I'm going to drink some more water, I've got a little bit of tea left, so I'll drink my water first and I'll drink my tea. I mean I've got my water filter with me if I ever come if I'm desperate, but so far I've only seen standing water so I'm not keen on trying that. But you know, the soil filter, should handle it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, I don't even want to look because I'm sure I'm not even halfway in mileage. Hopefully I'll speed up a bit now. These lambs keep running away from me. I don't think they realise where they're going. I'm walking on these bridleways is hard work. That's nothing there. The further up it was really steep and it was just laden in stones that you couldn't walk on it because it was just too many, too many of these uh, sort of like this size. Too many of them, just thick. You try and walk on the little grass edge or something like that. I am shattered. I need to have a rooster over there. I just missed it. Baby bunnies. And they just shot down into that hole. Just there. I don't know what he's doing out the road. You can see the hole. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Look. You can see it. Come out this side. He's tiny. He's tiny. He's gorgeous. Always eat the piece of grass. Made my day. I am absolutely shattered. I'm just making my way into Cald. I'm not sure how far I've got to go. Uh, Hoping tomorrow's not like this because it's going to be too hard for me. I think <laughs> I'm just not fit enough. Oh dear. Oh, poor baby bunny. Looks like mummy and daddy have been squished on the road. Oh dear. Right, I'm in a bunkhouse tonight and I have the room to myself. Oh, there's three ladies here and they've got the dove two in the other room and I'm in this one. Oh fantastic. They have yurts here as well. I've got no service so oh, I mistakenly uh, didn't put the address in of this place when I did have internet service so I just I was walking on the road dying thinking this has to be it and if it's not it I was going to beg them to drive me to wherever it was I was meant to go because <laughs> my feet are knackered my back's knackered I'm just knackered I need to drink some water I need to carry more water tomorrow and uh, get some water down me uh, and I'll get some tea in me and uh, then I might cook and then I've got a shower and oh but anyway 
this is the bunkhouse. That's not bad. I think it's I think it's twenty two. But, but you get tea, coffee, and that all thrown in. Nice lounge room. Oh, 